Hello, welcome to The Weirdo. I'm doing restaurant week right now, the takeout version, because stay home, wear your mask, do your part. Hello, um, it is the second week. Ooh, it's kind of dark in here. BRB. We don't have any lamps in here. We just kind of like do natural light. Hello, welcome to The Weirdo. I'm doing restaurant week right now, the takeout version, because stay home, wear your mask, do your part. Um, so in an effort to try to make it feel more like a restaurant, because last time when we did it, it didn't like, I don't know, the vibe was weird, and then also the food got cold on the way back from the, from the restaurant. And so um, first we're going somewhere that should be, or we're going during a time where it shouldn't be that much traffic. So I should be able to get back to the apartment and set everything up. And also, I've already set up the mock table. I figure if I set up a table like it is a restaurant, it should feel more, I should be, it should more, it should feel more like a restaurant. We'll see. But we are going to Founding Farmers as one of the restaurants that is doing restaurant week. Um, I'll give you a, a lot of photos and pictures and whatnot. Okay, so this is my decanter. It was just something I got from Total Wine. I just wanna say this. Do not buy a decanter based on how it looks. Buy a decanter based on how easy it is to clean. Cause let me tell you something. This looks cool, cause it has a little handle itself, like on it, and it's like easy to hold or whatever. But cleaning this bad boy, I had to buy special tools to do it. And I also had to buy something to hang it upside down so it could air dry. This is a pretty, but unusable decanter. <laughs> also, we have a 2015 Rioja. That's what we're drinking today with Finding Farmers. Okay, so one <laughs> last week when we did the restaurant week situation, um, we just kind of ate out of the boxes. I, got, I grabbed plates later, but I think this will help the restaurant feel. Because <laughs> last week did not go well with that. Um, it was real weird. But they gave us way too much food. I got the brie um, farm bread, we, I got the ribeye, my friend got the trout, the salad, and then we got to sh there's so much extra food. <laughs> we only played it what we're gonna eat. I'm not eating all of this, it's just on the plate. <laughs> and then we got the flight of donuts, because if you haven't done the, far the, far the founding farmer's donuts, do them, they're fantastic. If it, they have the Jackson donut with the fried chicken, I would have done that, but I already got the bread. They didn't have it? They did. They did, okay. No, 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 I said I was gonna get it, but like I got, I wanted the bread. I wanted bread and donuts. But like, um, <laughs> yeah, Founding Farmers is giving you bang for a buck in a real way. This is too much food and it does feel more restaurant-like. Oh, and um, $60 for the two people. Mm -hmm. So it's the same price as when I went to Joe Gilby's or Joe Gilbert's, basically, and it's dinner instead of lunch. So they're doing it right. 